from zero to light hero yes that is what today's episode is going to be titled because we are transitioning our account well we are destiny transitioning the account but we are transitioning our account officially over to the light army and i'm kind of happy because one of the big things i've already done a little bit of legwork but i know you guys said you love watching videos like this where we swap stuff over uh we need to get all these tenants like as strong as possible uh, one thing I was considering is making our doppelganger Natalia a homeowner too. And I think I do want to do that. So we're going to build up another tenant. We should have enough to do like some destiny transition stuff. But first and foremost, we need to figure out all of our resources at our disposal. Even heroes like this, we need to actually just get rid of these. Oh my gosh, we're going to be hurting for resources so badly. But... Oh, I do think we need to have all three of them as homeowners. So that is going to be our goal. We're going to go one, two, three. And then, oh my goodness, we're going to have to build another Vulcan. We're going to build up an Eos. Oh no, that's Luna. Oh no, it's Luna and Jester. I think maybe another Jester. Although we already have a Luna, so we might as well actually use her. I mean, she's not going to do much. Uh, and then another Natalia. My goodness. So if we want to put all light heroes in our light tenants, this is going to be this is going to be something. So number one, let's get at the very least our second hero here, which is 4100. That's still a decent copy. Uh, need a different flag on you. Need to upgrade this to the tippy top. Stones might become an issue. I'll be honest. The stone situation might be an issue making all these new heroes. Oh my gosh. Thank you, game. You just saved me so much. What did I do? I didn't do anything. Uh, anyway, so we're going to get these heroes leveled up. Uh, the building of all these heroes is going to be a little tedious, but if you guys strap yourselves in, we are on for a ride to show you guys what kind of like an ultimate light army is going to do until we sell the Betty copy from Reed's account and get all of our starry gems on our account to see what we have. I don't think I'm going to plan to buy an EOS copy because, again, I want at least a giant killer EOS to have on this account. I just don't know if we're going to go for an S tier. We might. If I can get an S tier for like forty to 50000 I think I might consider it. I might do it. If it's for more than that, oh man, because you have to remember, too, what we also have to do here is build tenant copies because – or buy tenant copies, I should say, because we need – everything everything that we can possibly get our hands on man it do do we now on this account make cores of origin for our tenants i know they're percentage based and they don't do that much but we could literally have a tenant team for void hollow along with our main team like we could literally have 10 transcendence heroes from the light faction alone that kind of sound yeah, it kind of sounds a little nutty doesn't it we could do it though that is something that is a possibility uh we could also destiny or um sorry tree of origin all of them too <laughs> that is something we could potentially do okay uh one thing i want to make sure we get done first is leveling up these heroes and then using the x upgrades on them because they are going to be our main heroes Oh, is it a mistake doing another EOS? I don't think so. Like, these two heroes maybe eventually will become uh, homeowners as well. But I think for the time being, just making them the tenants for, like, our Vulcans is probably the better idea. I just really like the idea of a homeowner doppelganger Natalia giving us more power and more options. Because she's kind of like the tank of the faction here. So she's going to be the one really rocking it. Um... Asmodel is good. Where's the Eos? Where's the Eos? There's the Asmodel. There's the Eos. Okay, so we're going to level her up as well. And again, we're going to wait on her copy for the time being. Because, well, we just don't need her copy at the moment. So that's fine. Get this up, X upgraded, which I think we can cap her out. And then we'll worry about maybe other tenants in the future. Granted, there's some heroes that we're going to have to regress to on this account to get a ton of resources. So this might be one of like the longest videos I ever do because this is, I'm gonna try to get this all done in one shot. Yes, yeah, so we have some other heroes that are tenants for others like probably over here, right? No, actually there's none in there. None in there. Oh no, yeah, yeah, the Freya, the Jester. 
Hmm. Interesting. So I guess that might have to be a slow build. That or the power on some of these Transcendence Heroes probably needs to go away. Like, I probably need to just completely regress you to get all the resources back. <laughs> he has a lot of resources. Oh my gosh. Um, the rest seem fine. Patricia, I don't know if we're going to be using you. That is also okay. <laughs> because I really want to make sure that uh, Doppelganger Natalia and the main two homes are like really, really solid here. Yes, yeah, so we need to build up the you, right? You're the only one here that has a copy. I think this is a decent copy too. Eh, it's 3,800. It's not great. Definitely not great. We do have light flags though. Skill attack attack isn't perfect, uh, but she is a tenant. So yes, we are building her. I wish this stuff went faster, but this is the bad part when it comes to this. I wish you could just like instantly upgrade to max and, and just have like, you know how you can make like 10 stars now in game where it's like, do you want to feed all these heroes? I wish you could do the same thing here. Just like click four 10 star heroes, all the resources and just instantly bring it all the way up. But this is kind of why I've been putting this off because this is the tedious part. I think the payoff's gonna really, really be good here. Getting these heroes very, very strong is going to be perfect. Uh, we are also activating this. We are taking them to, I think tree 100 is probably the safe bet for the time being. Maybe eventually tree 120, but tree 120 needs to be for any of the transcendence tenants that we're bringing up to max. Because we might want to actually put divine power on like, <laughs> it's going to sound weird, but we might want divine power on a lot of different heroes just to have it unlocked. For like Void Hollow and stuff, just for funsies. <laughs> funsies, yeah. All right, so we get that to 100. Cool, cool, cool. You have levels to get. Hopefully, you have enough resources. Uh, skin, we definitely have the skin for you. That's good. And then what was the other one? Was it you? I think it was you. Some of these copies are good. Some of them not as good. Get that flag in there. Yeah, we'll have to re-roll some stones potentially, but we need to get more power on him as well because we just need to make our Doom Terminator Vulcan return to glory. Remember, Doom Terminator Vulcan was like our main hero forever on this account, and then we went away and we tried to play the game seriously, and then we're like, I'm bored. I don't, I don't want to play serious. I want to I wanna play fun. Fun is better. And you know how I have fun? With light heroes because they are some of my favorite in the game. Plus, other factions would be a lot harder to do. I guess you could do like a dark meme team, like Aspen, Elena. And I mean, I feel like the light is still the best overall faction right now to do something like this on. And heck, I think on Reddit, my tag is still called the Lights Army. So <laughs> might as well represent right and get this going the right way. So let's keep putting these points in. And then we're going to have to work on the Doppelganger Natalia home. And we'll see what type of power we're working with. Oh, no, we're running out of resources. Okay, hold on, hold on. Who else do we not need anymore? Uh, we don't need you anymore, so we can regress you, which gives us a ton of resources, and gives us X levels, which is good. Uh, we don't need Sword Flash anymore. Don't need you anymore. Man, we're actually gonna have a lot of copies to sell off, too. I'm gonna be running low on materials, guys. We're already under 200 Soul Stones, rip. Uh, we also have some other heroes that are probably kind of useless too. Honestly, at this point, I, I want to keep their stones though is the problem. Because like, Transcendence heroes might still be tenants at some, some point. Let's, let's keep building here. Let's keep going. Now we have plenty of resources for our continual project here. And again, uh, we'll see, maybe we'll build like another Eos or Asmodel or something like that to be a tenant copy and then put the other one in a main home. We'll see. Um, decent Vulcan copy. I like it. Uh, let's take a look at his plot. His should be looking pretty good now. Yep. Yeah, so let's see if we can get that Vulcan with levels. Where are you? Right here. Let's get you some X upgrades. I think we have enough. God, this process is still tedious as heck. 
5,800. Yeah, we, we should have enough for a few of these heroes. So we are literally going to make like three of the strongest heroes possible on our account instead of spreading it out too much, I think. At levels, just, they, it just gives more stats. More stats is good. More stats is better. Actually, yeah, we can probably do this to two heroes for... So probably you and the trashy Lago. Yep. We should have enough, I think, for her as well. Building this up, we have 2,300. I think that's enough. Oh, actually, it might be a little short. Be a, oh, yeah, we're going to be just short here. So what I'm going to do... Nope, not auction house. Nope, not there. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Uh, let's replace just another hero here, like... Oh, wait, I want the X levels, though. Yeah, I just need to waste the gems right now. I need to clean house. Literally, clean house. Like, bye. Because I, I, I want to be able to do stuff more cleanly here. <laughs> And with with them sitting in houses, it's just confusing the matter of what heroes we're using. Technically, we do have more cores, but I'm kind of just holding on to them right now. Uh, let's swap you out since I kind of want those X levels, and we'll just make like another EOS for the time being. Again, we might use this EOS as a tenant copy. That could be something that is fun and useful. And in turn, we can now jump over to here and finish leveling her up. We're going to have a very bare bones account, I feel like, right now. <laughs> All right, so that does that, which means you have full household tenants now, right? Yeah, everything is maxed out. Everything is not maxed out. That Natalia needs her X levels as well. Where's Natalia? Why? Why can I not? Oh, there she is. All right. <laughs> I was like, wait, I can't even see where she is on here. So let's see. Do we have enough for another one? Probably not, right? We'd probably have to get rid of something from another Transcendence Hero that I don't really want to. Okay, so that's the main part of our progression here. I kind of want to keep both of these potentially with Destiny Transition. The question is, do I make an Asmodel home? That is my question here. Oh, I was like, wait, what's going on? I missed one button. I missed one. Darn it. <laughs> yeah, we can Destiny transition him. Let's get the Asmodel all the way leveled up. Thank goodness they sped this up too. Uh, this is a huge quality of life feature. It should definitely have an auto like max update type thing, but I'll take it. This is at least good enough for me to not want to pull my hair out. <laughs> I will admit that much. Uh, oh, wait. Wait, is it? What? Wait, how did it just go up to the next level? Did it was it just a button click now and not this big confirmation flash on the screen type thing? That's interesting. I didn't expect that to be like that, but I'll take it. I wonder if this hero is even any good for us. I really don't know. I've never really looked. Yeah, so it's just a clean transition now. That's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, we are going to still have to pay attention to our temple, though. I think we need to leave him at chaos. And get this going here. Okay, we're going to leave him at Chaos, I think. Because I still need to work towards our goals here. We need... Oh, well, we do need another Polystar. So what do we have? We have... Nirvana. Wait. Wait, when did I do that? Wait, that's a mistake. <laughs> no, wait, that's a mistake. I only need one Nirvana. Oh, shoot, man. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't do this to me. All right, well... Feels so bad I have to waste 10 just to do that so that I can bring her back down a tier. Oh, wow. That's... That sucks. <laughs> that really, really does suck. Ah, oh, well, let's see what we can do. I think Eos might be the one we make an S tier of, especially since we have an A- as Asmodel already. Oh, yeah. This is so much cleaner. It's still... It's still tedious. I'm definitely going to say it's still tedious, but it is much, much better. 
much better. Let's get this going. Let's keep leveling this army up. So this week coming up, we don't have any special events, but the next week we do have some special events that we do have to pay attention to because again, we're going to want more of these resources. We're definitely, definitely going to want more. Do we need to leave him at chaos or do we, can we bring him up to core? God, I'm so happy. We literally had so many of these, uh, the soul symbols because without this many soul symbols, this would take months to take like to take care of all right let me see what do we need we need what or she can we can take up to polystar right yeah we need three at polystar so let's just keep going with her oh not there wrong wrong spot leveling barry here we go yep yeah. let's get her up to core if it will do it and then we'll get her up to polystar and i guess we'll take for the time being the asmodel up to polystar since technically he's the giant killer and eos isn't i think that's probably the better play and then we'll just decide if we want to leave this power on our main hero or make them all homeowners to see how strong they technically can be. But yeah, we're going to take you up to Polystar as well. We still have plenty of resources. We have 5 million, 5 million <laughs> scattered spirit vein that we have to readdress uh, to everybody. Technically, we could, like I said, we can make our tenants strong as well. Like we can make another Vulcan and things like that and make them destiny transitioned as well we do have to reset all this up though because yeah this is a little messed up something like that yeah i like that okay so that's good she's back to where she needs to be so now we have one two we need the third one technically so yeah let's take him up further as well we're gonna go beyond core Scatter Spirit Vein starting to drain. It's like a million per hero for this kind of upgrade from core up to Polystar, it seems like. So glad we have the resources and the stole symbols because I like my light heroes. I really, really do. I don't know if we're going to make other tenants we're not planning on using Destiny Transition because I think we need to at least unlock Destiny Transition still on other heroes that we need to use for combat. Like Scarlet Queen Halora needs it. Uh, things like that. We just need her to have the power for things like Void Campaign just so she doesn't instantly get one shot. Hyperspace Hunter, Isle of Monk, that's another one we need to have it on. All right, so we have now... I guess we need to do this as well, right? <laughs> we need to address this. Armor Block, give him shield. Let's do, let's do give him shield. I like the increasing of attack. Ooh, no, I like energy more than that. Damage, damage damage maybe yeah something along those lines i don't even know what his skill does consume 12 layers deals damage to each of uh, four random enemies two times and increases the damage reduction of four random allies it's actually not that bad not that bad at all so now what do we need next not there right here we need three core heroes okay so let's consider doing this next let's get our eos up as a core hero i did the same thing here i definitely missed some sublimations along the way there we go now we can take her up to core and this should be pretty cost effective we're, yeah like we're, like i said it's about a million going from like core to polystar let's see what it takes to go from origin to core on this hero i kind of want to make each one of them their own homeowner though that is going to get a little hard on resources so i think for the time being we need to stick with this strategy and eventually as we get more uh spirit and all that other stuff we will spread out to multiple houses for both the eos and the asmodel i think we'll wait and see which one we get an s tier of and then we'll make that one a main homeowner as well and we'll see how they do all right, up to Surge, that's good. Up to Chaos. We need to go to Core, I think I said. So yeah, we have to go up four levels. But again, this is a lot of additional stats this hero is gaining, which is nice to see. This also might mean Light Sea Land goes a lot easier than our last attempt. All right, so yeah, we got to keep going, go up to Core. We need to check how many resources we have left too before we make any other moves because I don't want to go crazy and then forget that we don't have enough Divine Aurora Power Gems. Whew. All right. I'm glad I did a little bit of this beforehand. Otherwise, this could have been an extremely long take here. All right. So now we got Uticore, right? So now we have... All I have to start, we need one more core hero, which... 
I'm guessing you're the other core hero right now. Oh, man. Again, I kind of want to make it like one of our tenants, but I know I should do it like on Queen. We got to get a copy for Queen, too. We really should do it on Queen because she's going to be the one hero we absolutely have in every single team. Why? Because she's giving us more all damage dealt, like legit. And she gives us some ping damage, some healing, all those things. We do need to make sure she is still active on our account. She is going to be our token light hero. We could use the right, the different skin and then it makes her look like she's got a, she's got a spotlight on her. And that spotlight means she's a light hero. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> All right. What can we do here up to surge? We got to go past chaos. Still about 2 million scattered spirit vein, which is good. I feel like divine aurora power gems might become the bigger issue here. I think the other hero we also level up is going to be our Mystic Fairy Freya. Because Mystic Fairy Freya is kind of needed for boss damage if we want to take that seriously still. Uh, shoot, did I want to go up to core? Yes. Okay. Take her up to core. We might have enough, especially if we take the Freya up to core. We might have enough to get our tempo leveled up, which will be a nice thing to see. We got to get this core 100 and then we'll work on the Freya. And then in the future, if we have more builds that we have to do, then we will go ahead and make more light tenant heroes. So there we go. That's good. Let's get her set back up. I'm going to feed energy. Backline allies attack. Increases all damage reduction. I like that combo there. That's still good. Again, we need to get a copy for her some way, somewhere. Um, and then, yeah, I guess since we already have you in the surge range, because I made a mistake leveling her up, we'll continue and we'll bring her up to Chaos 100. If we have enough, we're just under a million. Or right now, we're just under a million of Scattered Spirit Vein, but that should be plenty to get up to Chaos 100. And then that gives us a little bit more freedom. Rather, it may let us take one of our heroes up to Nirvana. Might be good. Again, the whole point here is just to keep leveling up our temple at this point because we fell behind on temple levels because we weren't focusing on this. We were building wide. We are doing all these different things trying to be optimal. There we go. So now we got another chaos. Yeah, something like that works and looks fine to me. And now what we should be able to do is go to the temple and level up so we are getting a whole nother divine power as well which is really good now we need to do the same thing so essentially what we need to do is take one of our polystar bring it up to nirvana one of our core one of our chaos and then a new chaos so yeah but we got more stars now and that's really really good beyond that might as well make this one the next project, right? Make him the next. I don't think 500,000 is going to be enough Scattered Spirit Vein. We actually have more Divine Power Aurora Gems than I planned on having. So, whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. And we still need to make more Transcendence Heroes for our tenants. Man, that was such a close amount. We are borderline there. So close. We almost have two Polystars, so... Let's take a look at our homes because, like I said, these need to be set up right. Good, 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 good. I like that. Good, good, good. Kind of good. I, I wish we had more levels to give. I don't think we do unless we take them from you. Uh, I think all of them are in you. So, yeah, we'll just have to slow keep building this. It feels weird that that's a thing, but it's happening. Our heroes are just using crowns, right? Eos is probably also using a crown for the time being. Yep, that's right. Probably need to build these back being tanky because we just need them to live as much as possible for the time being. At least when we're talking about our light heroes. I'm not going to bother buying another copy of Eos just yet until we decide exactly what we are going to do. I think we're in a really good spot. So one thing we do need to buy is a queen copy. Let's see if we can find a really inexpensive B queen. 
let's just go for like the cheapest buyout price. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. It just needs to be something. 1200 damage reduction and precision. Man, I, you know what? I don't even feel like we need it to be a B. I kind of just want to find one with like some of the best attack. Granted, it's not even a tenant hero. Oh man, no. Let's let's do this. Let's see what the cheapest. Three eleven for thirty nine hundred. You know what? Sold. You got me. I'm gonna buy this copy right now. Put that password in so nobody gets to see it. We'll buy the queen copy. We'll take the queen copy. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, give her at least something to use here and we got to do this with a couple heroes so we're gonna go a little bit in the negative on resources um i guess we don't need to go any higher on anything else because even these are like okay 4600 3800 like they're all right 4600 i don't see anyone wait oh wait i just realized yeah we do have to keep going don't we we finished this one. Yep. We finished this one. Yep. Need to work on this one. Yep. So we are going to need another Eos either way. Interesting. And then we got to build another Natalia up. So let's build a Natalia. Because it seems like we don't have one. Interesting. Russell. Been nice knowing you. Oh no, we don't have Natalia copy or Natalie copies right now. Wait, we gotta have Natalie copies. We don't have Natalie copies. Well, we will have Natalie copies because we finally have chests that need to be used, right? Oh my gosh, I, I need a chest that actually works, please. Where's where's the chest? Okay, there's three copies. <laughs> Searching through these is killer. Uh, is this the chest? No, that's the EOS chest. Oh, shoot. What, how crazy would it be if I didn't actually have the copies for it right now? No, nah, I, I should be able to pull them out of these, I think. Three, there's number four. Five, six. I guess we can use relics. <laughs> six. Um, shoot. <laughs> um, six. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine. There we go. <laughs> please never do what I just did. Pretty please. Just don't do it. Yeah, we need to summon all these out. We'll swap away yet another Russell here. We'll convert it with the Natalia copies, which means we need another Natalia. Oh, geez. I just thought of that. We need like another copy of a Natalia we don't have any in the bag and this one kind of does need to be a good attack value so let's look for natalia copies we're going to sort by highest attack to lowest attack find something in a good deal that kind of looks like a good deal yep i like it so again we're dipping a little bit into our savings for our s tier but i think this is a very important part for us to do uh, to make sure we get decent tenants. I guess I could have saved one uh, chest worth, huh? Hindsight's 2020. We're going to need a lot more of these light chests. Good lord. All right. So we can continue leveling these heroes up. We'll get her going here. And this is going to be a powerhouse light team i'm gonna tell you what this is also means we're gonna fall further away from the lights army championship title in uh void vortex or void uh realms gate and everything because we're taking so many heroes and turning them into tra into transcendence that we're actually having a net negative on our actual light hero score i know it sounds weird but that's where we're at <laughs> <laughs> That's where we are, oh my gosh, legitimately at. All right, so activate that. We're also going to get her activated here. Looks like we have enough resources to bring her up to like 100. Got plenty of food now after all those regressions. Good Lord. We're not going to be doing too much on this hero here. I guess we can start subliming any of our Transcendence Tenants that are light heroes that we're going to use for Void Hollow. Like that's something we can do. That is a possibility. 
Okay, 100. That should be fine. Good power. We could get more power, but we'll just hold it there for now. So that is the next one done for our doppelganger, Natalia. Which she goes where? Oh, no. Did I build the wrong one? No. Okay. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. Did I do the wrong one? Uh, we do need to get this Eos leveled up now. Uh, so we're going to have to buy another Eos copy. Yeesh. As you guys can see, these prices start going up as things happen on an account like this. We need to even do the stone. Oh, rip. Wait. None of our EOS have stones. Great. <laughs> Great. Oh, this is going to hurt. 3.3 down to 2.8. And then we have to re-roll it and at least get something attack, attack oriented. Come on. Give us at least one of the crappy attack, attack stones to hold for the time being. We can continue optimizing later. Attack HP is not really what we want. There it is. We hit the sweet spot. And then we're going to have to figure out artifacts on these heroes too. Which might be tricky. Time being, you get a kiss of ghost. You got that. You got that. We need to upgrade this. We still have 11 million stellar, which should be enough, I think, to finish this build out. Although we might be a little short, actually. We do have more cores, but I don't think we're gonna use those right now. For some reason, I feel like I wanna save those for something down the line. This, do this, do this. Right, do this. This, do this. And now another hero is done, although I need to leave her at V4 for the time being. I think we have to wait to give her any more power. Wait. <laughs> this is the power of a hero copy. Holy cow. We're going to have a lot of hero copies to either retire or sell as well. So keep that in mind. Um, now we need an Eos. We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to sort from highest attack to lowest attack. 4,900, that works for me. All right, we got another thing done here. So we got that to that. It's a ton of extra stats. And now when we come over and take a look at the difference, we went from severely underpowered hero to much more power. So I like that. Uh, Vulcan, we need to make another Vulcan. So what we're going to do is yet another swap here. We're going to replace you with one of our Vulcans that I think we still have sitting in here, right? Oh, no. We actually have to build a Vulcan? Well, let's get cracking. <laughs> we got a lot of Stellar Shards and stuff back, too. Oh, it means we have to buy another Vulcan copy, huh? Because we already have this Vulcan, and now we have a Doom Terminator Vulcan. Jeez. Jeez Louise. All right, so we have to continue building him up. All right. Hopefully we have the food and the copies. Oh, gosh. Please don't do this to me. <laughs> Oh, this is getting bad when it comes to hero copies. Although, was he second generation? I No, he was third generation, right? And third generation is the chest I'm lacking, I think. Yeah, we got Yorm Tom. Oh, shoot, man. All right. <laughs> Let's go revisit this store. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight and then we need to get a copy anyway wait no i didn't need eight copies what am i doing <sighs> i already had five in oh whatever just, just don't talk to me right now <laughs> i'm mad at myself oh my mad at myself good lord all right vulcan 3020 i don't want to spend that much 1500 yeah 1500 seems like a deal uh, we do need to grab that copy. Thank you. My goodness. I'm just wasting glorious relics at this point. Not like it really matters, but like, I mean, it kind of does. So the first thing we do is just swap this copy in. And then now we have plenty of hero copies. Good Lord. We got too many hero copies now. Too stinking. Oh, I forgot we even have another Asmodel and Eos down here. 
Huh. Interesting. All right. Well, let's keep building this guy up. <laughs> we definitely have the stellar shards, and I think this is the hero that we're going to invest uh, potentially more power into, as well as sublimations, because we might use him in the secondary lineup. Yes, he doesn't have giant killer, but he's going to have destiny transition, I feel like. He's going to be the next one we take and destiny transition past the current heroes, although maybe not, because we kind of want a hyperspace on our Islamok too. But then again, we don't have enough room for Islamok and all these heroes. I don't know. I'm I'm questioning it because technically the destiny transition we could give this hero is enough to be stronger than a giant killer copy technically without destiny transition, which is kind of weird to say, but it's kind of true at the same time. Uh, so we got V4. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot this part. Oh, I forgot this part. Well interesting decision let's do this yeah i have way too many vulcan copies but hey we can awaken vulcan copies instead of aspen copies from now on in events right so that's actually a good thing let's just go with that let's just go with that all right let's move on here get this going as well boom bang bing bang boom up to here and then now we can go to not that yet we need to click one more Man, this is laggy as heck today with the upgrades of the heroes. Really annoying. And we just got to change this around to this and this. Did he have a stone? No, he didn't. So that's another stone we are going to have to max out to here. Thank goodness. This is a thing now. Otherwise, that would probably drive me nuts as well. A tech attack, please. Please, sir. Pretty please. Attack, attack. Please attack, attack. Attack, attack, crit, or holy damage. Attack, attack, precision. Okay, seriously, I'll take any of them. Just, just, just give me something to have for right now. <laughs> just give me something, man. And again, we'll go to here. We need to make a bunch of flags and stuff, but I'll leave that to my own time because that's going to be more breaking apart artifacts, building artifacts, and that's not what we're about right now. What we're about is bringing this hero at least up to level 100. I don't know if I'm going to take him to 120 just yet. Maybe we'll save that if we decide to make him the next Destiny Transition hero where we have multiples. If we were to do that, though, I feel like I'd want a Giant Killer on him, which at the prices that they're currently at, we could do. We definitely could do, and uh, might as well do this. Because <laughs> why not? We have so much sublimation. We have so many chests sitting in the bag, too. It's just ridiculous. It only takes 180,000 for each of these, sure. Why not? We we have more than enough. Even here, yep. So if we do want to do this on more tenants, then we are going to have to take the time and get some more chest stuff out. But this also lets us level you up. That also means your power keeps climbing. Bam. So the last one we need, actually, we don't need to change it. We could, we, we could. We could. I think I'm going to wait for the timing. So, that is where we're at. Let's take a look at our hero's power. So, we're sitting at 43 million attack, 52, 37, 27, and 23. Not too bad. Not too bad at all, I'll say. I'll take it. So, whew. That's a lot of power right there. Let's do one thing and just, just see. Let's just see what type of difference this might have made on our squad. Technically, I can't put these heroes in because they're already in the list. I think we're going to be a lot tankier as well. Honestly, even Asmodel's core might be one to use, but let's see if we can actually survive a little longer now. Probably quite a bit. Man, even our, uh, wow, pretty solid, pretty solid damage by that freaking, oh, what, Natalia just went crazy on that copy. Uh, Vulcan has yet to attack, but when he does attack, oh my gosh, this is going to be so easy. Oh, this is going to be so easy, isn't it? This is going to be, okay, we need a six light hero immediately. I'm taking that hero to at least giant killer right away. All right, let's watch Natalia's active. 
Pretty good damage. Holy cow, she did all that damage to the boss. Talk about a light army. Now, if we could just attack once, we win. Oh, we died. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> we died because of the healing curse. The EOS going down is not the worst case for us. Yeah, Natalia almost one shot the boss right there. That's pretty disgusting. Yeah, I want to I make one change. Uh, I'm, I'm making an executive decision here. I'm going to be giving you Melodic. And I'm going to be giving you Devil's Power. That's going to be the swap we do. Doesn't look like the Eos or the Asmodel are doing anything without being a homeowner as well. They're still a little too weak. So making them homeowner is going to be a pri priority in the future. God, that's so good. I missed Vulcan so much. Oh my God, did I miss this hero? This is gonna be fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.